Smart downloads keep you entertained with new music even when you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Hmm, but what exactly are smart downloads and how do they work? Well, I'll explain. When you enable smart downloads, YouTube Music chooses and automatically downloads up to 500 songs overnight to your Android device. Okay, so does my device need to be connected to Wi-Fi? Yeah, your device should be connected to Wi-Fi or songs can be downloaded through unrestricted mobile data if your device and carrier support this. And once downloaded, you can listen to these songs anywhere, anytime, even if you're offline. Okay, and do I need a YouTube subscription or something? Yeah, you need a subscription to YouTube Premium or YouTube Music Premium to be able to use smart downloads. Okay, how do smart downloads actually work then? Well, based on your listening history, machine learning identifies and downloads a mix of songs you'll like. This means you can listen to old favourites and discover something new. And when it comes to downloading the songs, Android detects your connection type. Wait, 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 wait. Earlier you said something about unrestricted data. What is that? Yeah, so that's data that doesn't have a usage cap. This means you can download as much as you like and you won't be charged any more for it through your current data plan. Remember, this is limited to participating mobile carriers. OK, on that score, what about 5G then? Would that work? Yeah, with some 5G Google phones, you can download songs through unmetered 5G. As this is a type of unrestricted mobile data, you can download as much as you like and have the added benefit that your songs will be downloaded faster than if you were downloading via Wi-Fi. And once the connection type has been identified, YouTube Music automatically downloads the queued songs. OK, so will this affect the other music that I've actually chosen to download? No, smart downloads work in addition to the music you've already selected to download. So turning on this feature will not remove any of your already downloaded songs. OK, OK, this sounds brilliant. How can I get smart downloads? Well, really easy. So to turn it on, open the YouTube Music app, tap on your profile picture, tap Downloads and tap the Settings cog and then toggle on Smart Downloads. Oh, OK. Does it have to be 500 songs? 500 is the maximum, but how many songs you can download may depend on your device's storage and the length and quality of the audio or video files. To limit the songs for your smart downloads and to choose between audio and video files, go to offline settings in the YouTube Music app settings. OK, groovy. Uh, how can I control what songs are downloaded? So you can view, pause or delete your listening history to improve your recommendations. And you can remove a specific song or album by swiping left and tapping remove. And downloaded music can be played for up to 30 days after disconnecting from the internet. So be sure to reconnect at least once every 30 days to maintain your downloads. OK, but could I get smart downloads on an iOS device? Yeah, on iOS there's an equivalent of smart downloads. You can turn it on through the settings in the YouTube Music app. You can tailor how many songs you want to download and remove songs just like you can on Android. And music is refreshed every 24 hours when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Is there still a subscription for that? Yeah, you still need a YouTube Premium or YouTube Music Premium subscription to access this feature on iOS. And that's it. Smart downloads explained. Nice. I love it. Thanks.